I lay weightless in the water. The ocean holds me under the stars. Looking forwards, I see eternity. Sky and water stretch endlessly. If I looked back, would I see the shore? My anchor, my safety. But forward, what if I floated out and out until all eternity was around me? How exciting to explore a boundless thing. And yet how small it must feel. So small, almost nothing. Dark water reflecting dark sky and galaxies. Would I lose myself in the looking? Oh, to be safe and confined, one foot on the shore connecting me to our small human things. Small things I understand, but you are vast, incomprehensible, a mystery. Am I brave enough to push out and lose sight of my humanity? Can I trust you to see me in my smallness? Would you find me among the waves and the stars? Last year, I took a personal retreat to the Christian Renewal Center near Silver Creek Falls. It's a quiet, beautiful place where you can find God in the solitude. I'm going to read an excerpt from my journal from the last night I was there because I feel like it beautifully answers the question that was posed in my poetry. Through my wanderings around the canvas today, I found an out of the way spot near the top of a hill with a fire pit. There was a teepee of wood stacked neatly with kindling inside of it. Matches lay next to it, begging for a flame. Later, as my day was nearing an end, I grabbed my picnic blanket and headphones, vowing to have an evening campfire if the fire pit still lay unclaimed. I longed for the warmth and beauty of a fire surrounded by the night sky. I neared the site, and there the makings of my fire lay waiting for me, like a divinely set up appointment. I laid my blanket down and lit my fire. The dry firewood caught immediately. I turned on my worship music and waited for the stars to come as the sun sank behind the hills. The first star appeared as the sky deepened to an indigo blue, and I whispered a wish to the heavens. If you love me, send me a shooting star, I joked to my creator. One star turned to few, and a few to many, and many to overflowing, as the night sky does when far away from the endless night bustle of a city. I was awestruck. Nothing moves me more than the sky, even more so a star-filled one. Thank you, God, I breathed. It's so beautiful. Not even a second after my adoration, a giant shooting star streaked across the entirety of the sky. My eyes filled with tears. I knew what that was. My God had been listening. The creator of the universe, clear as if it were verbally spoken, was telling me one human out of 10 billion that he loved me.